in and all that, and appreciate your patience with the reg line. So just want to start out by thanking the sponsors. Um, you know, we really can't do this event to, and have the cool giveaways and the prizes and the contests without them. So really appreciate, you know, DigiCert and Alert Logic and Adobe and Pope Tech and DeepWatch and Stage 2 Security and No Starch Press and the St. Con organization, as well as Arctic Wolf and Splunk and Critical Start, Pramify, Health Equity, and Snow Fensive. Oh, maybe we do a big round of applause for all the sponsors, so yeah. No, I, I, I and the whole board and, and committee really appreciate it, so we can't do it without you. All right, welcome to B-Side Salt Lake City Conference. So uh, my name is Bryce Coons. I am the president of the charity that kind of runs the conference. And I'm Tweak Fox on Twitter. And there's also a Slack, um, which you can join via the website if you want to get a hold of me at any time. Really, besides, we try to focus on these three core principles, which is first, like building connections. We're all here today in physical meet space once again, which I'm happy to report. And we're really here to kind of, we're trying to build the community, build more connections out there, and help us more grow and effectively learn. Yeah, the next part kind of ties into that. That's the community, right? We want to get everybody together from the community at least once a year and help strengthen our help strengthen each other. Cybersecurity, you know, it can get a little bit tough on the on the daily grind. So it's good to take a day break, kind of refresh and get reinvigorated with, you know, kind of our passionate side of the industry. And then lastly is careers. We really want to help connect people um, if they're trying to get into cybersecurity, right? Or if they're trying to, you know, move up from like a, you know, junior role to an intermediate or an intermediate to a senior role. Um, we're trying to help level up individuals. So I know a lot of people have, you know, helped each other out throughout the community um, in their careers. And uh, I think that's great to see. Love to see more of that. Um, to that end, we have a few communities that are specifically designed this year to help foster um, those type of relationships. Um, first, I want to talk about the networking and careers community. So this is going to be upstairs and in the back. And uh, we, at 11 a.m. through 1 p.m., we're going to have kind of a networking recruiting type event as well as kind of like an icebreaker to help people get to know each other. So if you're trying to get into the industry, into cybersecurity, or you're trying to level up, that'd be a good thing to stop by. And Kirsten is running that, and she's doing a great job. As well, I just want to make you aware, we are going to give certain color wristbands to students that want them um, that are kind of basically you know, letting you know they might be looking for an entry level job, right? So those are yellow wristbands. We got the home labs and lockpick community. That's going to be in the next room upstairs, um, 228. Um, so the home lab, they have some pretty cool hands-on experiences you can do there and help you kind of get more experience with setting up different automations at your house. Um, so if you're interested in IoT or just kind of making your life easier through automation, that, that's definitely something you should check out. As well as we're going to have some lockpick going later in the day today. Um, so if you want to get some hands-on experience with lockpick, um, definitely head on up there. Uh, we're fortunate to have Matt Lormer and the support of the St. Con uh, group to have access to um, soldering irons this year. So um, there's limited availability, but we do have about 10 stations up there. And in addition, um, we have a limited supply of these, um, these Pi Picos, I believe. Um, which are free of charge. If you just go up there and you do something, they'll give you a, a Pico to help with your lab. So uh, you do have to solder stuff on it to use it generally. So um, we also have an excellent CTF. He, there is, um, when I checked yesterday, there's over 24 challenges. And um, as far as I know, you know, a lot of these are, are new and are tailored around the theme of the event. Um, right, we kind of have like an outer space theme, right? So um, we really highly encourage you to participate in that, as well as we are running some other contests that I'll cover in a minute. 
um, which Marv, and there's a room upstairs. You can go up there and talk to Marv about them at any time. So um, I think that's all the communities. If you just are looking for a good place to chill, um, we there's some round tables in the CTF community. That would be a good place to just kind of chill out. And there's power underneath them if you want to plug in your laptops and all that. Speaking of contests, um, this is kind of um, important. I'll post the slides up after this talk. But, um, but we have uh, quite a few contests. As, as the general rule, you need to be present at the closing ceremonies at 5 PM physically to receive a prize. Um, and Marv and the judges are kind of running them for the ones that need judges. So the first one is a um, sponsor raffle. So basically, there's some three by five cards at the reg desk, as well as um, Josh Day has some near the sponsors. And if you go and get a stamp from each sponsor, then you and write your name and phone number on it, then we'll draw, um, then return the card to the contest area, which is upstairs to Marv. And then we'll draw one of those at closing ceremonies, and you'll win. You'll be in the drawing for a switch OLED switch. Um, we got the CTF. So the ones that get the most points in the CTF, um, first place, AirPod Pro, um, Nintendo Switch Lite, Apple TV, right? So, so I highly encourage you to participate in that. Um, if you are hanging out in the circuit assembly community, whoever comes up with the best badge modification um, based on uh, like uh, three judges um, will win some headphones. And whoever has the best tweet on Twitter with the hashtag Beside Salt Lake City, uh, just like that, SLC, Besides SLC, um, you'll win a Lego Princess Peach that my kids love. So. <laughs> In addition, No Starch was fortunate. They provided us with these books that you're seeing here. And so as long as you checked in using the Eventbrite app today, um, we're going to randomly draw names from the checked in people at closing ceremonies and until we get rid of all the books. So there's also a bottle of hot sauce if you want hot sauce. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to make you aware that there are some changes to the venue this year. Na namely, we had a lot more submissions for content, which is awesome. Please keep submitting for content. We need it. Um, but uh, we actually are spilled over into the other building as well, which is located in this direction. Um, so um, track A is going to be here. Um, track B is going to be in room 101 in the other building. And then track C is going to be upstairs on the second floor in room 203 in the other building. Um, speakers, there is a room in the other building. Um, it's on the second floor. It's room X on the map. Um, that's where you can go and prep for the speaking. And um, Bryson should be hanging out in there. Um, in addition, um, some of the work, there is one workshop that's on this level. And then the rest of the content in this building is kind of up on the second level. Um, so there's two more workshops up there, and then the communities are up there as well. There's maps at general um, check-in if you are interested. OK, if you're interested in the schedule, um, it's really it's located on the website. There's a link under like content. And then if you click on the app link, that's the best for your cell phone. Or you can go directly to the sessionize URL right here as well as um, there's another view under, the, um, under this URL with schedule. If you either, that's kind of a little bit easier on a laptop. Um, well, I want to let you know that tonight there will be a party at the 801 Labs. So if you want to head downtown afterwards at 801 PM, um, this is the address. And Mike Weaver and team will be down there. And they'll have some refreshments for you. And that's on the schedule. Everyone's attend, like welcome to attend. Um, OK, so I just want to thank the organizers and committee. They did a ton of work. Delane got us these sweet blankets. So if you bought the badge with the secret surprise, you got a, you got a blanket. So appreciate that. Um, Waylon spent so many hours on this badge. So I know the badges are in real limited supply this year. And we're going to you know, obviously address that next year. But, um, you know, if you're lucky enough to get a badge, then um, you know definitely spend some time with it. They've 
Waylon, and also I want to mention Paul. Paul wrote a lot of the code as well. So. <laughs> Um, the organizers, um, we got Josh and Brendan doing the sponsors out there in the hall, They're doing a great job. Marv is doing the volunteers, so if you want to volunteer next year, sync up with Marv. Um, Bryson's doing all the speakers, really appreciate that. Shelby and JC, are, or, or CJ, are kind of doing the scholarships for the students, really love to see people submit for that. Um, Astrid's done a great job with Reg, as well as Blake with security. And then we really can't do this without the Pope brothers, John and James, um, and Tyler's helping them out this year on the AV, and they're getting everything streamed up to YouTube, um, so slash Twitch, Twitch, yeah, not YouTube, Twitch. So if you have people at home that want to watch the, any of the talks in this session, those will be streamed on Twitch. Um, great. Also, just want to make you aware that B-Sides is run by a nonprofit. Um, this is the current board for the nonprofit. If you're interested in being more involved in the, the nonprofit, um, we are going to meet here in this room at 6 p.m. tonight and kind of do a members public meeting, and we'll vote for a new board and all that. Um, so, um, you know, if you want to get involved, stick around at 6 p.m. But uh, you don't, you don't have to, right? It's not required. Um, really want to thank Kirsten. Um, for all the work that she did. She did a ton of work this year. Um, a lot of the badges that you're wearing are, are um, the non-electronic ones are because of her. And then Ryan does a lot with the treasury as well as other administrative aspects aspects of the, of the charity, which I just um, wouldn't be able to do without him. So really appreciate that. And Tyler's doing a great job with AV, and Delane's doing a great job with the swag. So appreciate it. All right. Thank you all for coming out. Appreciate it. Please have a great time. Um, the next session is going to start in here at 1030. And um, check out the schedule. Um, definitely the app's easier on the mobile view. So appreciate it. Thank you all. <laughs>